Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Today we are going to work on a baby shower gift. And this could also be used if you were giving a baby shower for centerpieces. This would be absolutely adorable. And it really doesn't cost too much. What I did, this is for my grandson, okay? And I am in love with these little elephants and the elephant theme and my son, the father of my grandbaby that's going to be born, um, he used to love elephants, but he didn't call them elephants. He called them something harder than elephants. He called them elephantes. And every, every time I tried to tell him, no, Jason, it's elephants. No, elephante. So elephante it was. We are going to make a hot air balloon with an elephante. What you're going to need is whatever you want to put into your basket or if you want to make a smaller version you could use a um, oh, uh, Chinese box and you can get those at Party City or online you could use one of those anything you want you could use a terracotta pot for that matter you could use a Dollar Tree trash can you know the, the mesh looking ones you could use that whatever you want and then you're going to take, and what I'm going to put, obviously, I'm going to put the white, I'm going to use white tooling inside of it. And then I have that with, you know what, packing from boxes. And look how useful it is to lift up the elephant so he's not sinking down in. I want him up. Okay, so you're going to need again your base whatever you're going to use to put whatever you're going to put into your hot air balloon you're going to need wooden dowels you're going to need for your balloon i bought this and i think i put it in the video when i unwrapped it i got this online from coil uh wholesale and I'll show you how big, and this sucker is big. This is, I believe, what is this one? No, oh, they didn't put on the, I think this is 18 inches. It's big. And that's why I got a bigger basket. Now, you can go down as low as, these come in 8 inch, 10, 12, 14, 16. Oh, it is, it does say 18. It's uh, marked right there. 20, 24, 30, 36, 42. You can make this as big as you want or as little as you want. So mine's in between. All right. So you need that. And then I got ribbon, and these are her colors. They're going to be like the, like, mm, kind of a baby blue, I guess, and some green, like a, I don't know what you call it. It's just a very pale. All of this is very pale and serene and a green and gray so this will be kind of my palette for the hot air balloon all right so and you'll need your hot air you'll need your hot air you'll need your uh, glue gun i am going to decide how big or how tall i want this to be and then when i get that decided i'll be back okay what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put this together and it's so big, I don't know if you're going to be able to see how I do it. I'm just going to do it on camera and what you see, you see, I guess, because there's no way I can get it from where I'm at that you can totally see. But it opens up, get back here, and then it has a wire. It has a little hook, and that's, I'm sure, if you wanted to hang it, which you very well could if you wanted I'm not it's gonna sit you know but you could hang these anyway and then it has the two little holes so let's see. we're gonna hook that into there and then I'm gonna bring it down and when I get this all together I'll be back Okay, I have it all together, and then the bottom just, you kind of just lay the lantern into the metal, and here's the top. 
So now I've got to see how high up. Oh, you can't even see it. Um, because this is going to be big. Well, hold on a minute. I'm going to bring this camera up just for a minute, and then I'll have to show you once I have it adhered. Because there's no way. It's just way too tall. I'm going to do this real quick just so you can see. Well, now you still can't even see. That's how big it is. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But you can kind of get, okay, here's this. And I'm trying to see just about where I want it as far as height from the elephant to the, or better known as elefante, to the um, balloon itself. Okay, I think I'm going to go about there. So now I have to get my dowel. Because the dowel will adhere to this part with some hot glue. So I'm going to figure that out, and when I get this all figured out, I'll be back. Okay, what I did is I went out and I just took, because this dowel is so thin, I was able to take wire cutters and just cut it 18 inches for both sides. Now, you're not always going to have this handle, obviously, but that just so happened that's the way the basket came, which is going to work to my benefit because I'm going to be able, you know, I just noticed something. I don't think this is exactly straight. Good. Okay, well, I'm going to glue this. I'm going to glue these dowels, and I'm going to anchor them onto the sides of these, and it's just going to help me to secure just a little bit more. So I'm going to hot glue that. And if you didn't have a handle, you could come all the way down, and you could glue it here instead of here, and you wouldn't have this to anchor to. But you could also go on all four sides if you wanted with dowels. I'm going to use string on other sides of it, so this is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to get this glued and then I'll be back. You guys, I had to take my camcorder off the tripod. I cannot do this whole thing and show you and it's bugging me. So here is what I've done so far after two burnt fingers, and I mean burnt, but I wasn't going to let this uh, lantern fall so I grabbed it and when I grabbed it I grabbed the hot glue and it stuck oh my god oh my lord it hurts so bad right now but you know, what you do for crafts right anyway um, what I did I'll bring you up in here okay see where oh it's blurring okay well I glued the dowel into the the I glued the dowel into the metal part here and um, now I'm just waiting for it to really really dry I can take the elephant out of here and um, so that's what it looks like so far and then I just wrapped some of the gray and white string which I'm going to wrap around not wrap but bring down on all four sides. You know how hot air balloons have those uh, cords, whatever they are. Anyway, so I'm going to do that and I'll probably do all of them and then I'll try to do one on camera. How I'm going to do it, I'm not sure yet. But anyway, I wanted to bring you in and just show you what I've done so far. But this is probably, I'll measure it and I'll let you know how tall. I'm going to say it's probably going to be about three feet when I'm done. So <laughs> I can't get the whole thing in. So I'll be back once I get the strings going. Okay, guys. Now I'm on the floor. This is how tall the... <laughs> I can't believe this. This is how tall it is. So I am bringing you now on the floor. And what I've done is I've taken these... I'm going to get up to it. The string. And now I'm going to bring it down and tie. I think you can see kind of where I'm going with this. So as soon as I have these tied, I'll come back and show you what that looks like. So now I have the two dowels, the lantern adhered to the basket with that styrofoam inside the basket to just kind of beef up the elefante when I put it in to the basket. So that's where we are right now. Okay, I'm standing way back so I can try. 
I can try to tell you what I'm doing so far. Okay, so now the lantern is adhered to the dowels, and the dowels are adhered to the basket. I put the little elephant in to see if I could get him in and out, which I can because I did put, and I'm going to bring you up so you won't see everything, but I brought this string and I tied it at the top of the lantern on the metal and bringing it down, see how they're all tied? Well, actually, no, they're not tied. They're hot glued is what they are. Now, I should go again with the string over here on this side to come down into this corner, but I don't know that I'm going to because I think it would be too hard to get the elephant in, and I don't want to do anything to disrupt the actual lantern on the dowels. That's all I need. So right now, the most tedious and where you're like, oh, please let this work, is done. And that's getting the lantern into the dowel, the dowel into the basket, and it all being secure enough. Now comes the embellishing of the balloon and putting uh, bows on. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do flowers since it's for a boy. I'm not sure yet. I may change my mind, don't know. The way it looks now, I think I'm going to just do bows, but we'll see. So when I get ready and I know what I'm doing and I start to embellish, I'll bring you with me. Okay, everyone. This, <laughs> this has been my most challenging as far as trying to videotape to show you how I'm doing this. Only because this little hot air balloon well, not little, large hot air balloon, is so tall that the only way I can do my camera, because I'm not in a position to where I can put it way up high, you know what I mean, where you could kind of be looking down. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have to go section by section as I do what I'm going to do. So I'm going to come up a little bit closer and I will show you what I'm going to do next. So, let's recap real quick. I got the dowels, I hot glued them into the lantern underneath. Before I did that, I wrapped this string that I got from Hobby Lobby so it would all match. And I'm still not sure if I want to go one more around this way for the strings. I don't know that I will because it's going to be too hard to get this little cutie out of it if I do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a banner that I'm going to punch from one of my punches and I'm going to scallop again this thread and I'll show you as I go but I'm just trying to tell you a little bit now so you can just follow and you'll know what I'm doing beforehand. And then I will put I'm trying to think where I'll put a couple bows. I'm going to put a couple bows somewhere. Anyway, okay, so that's the next thing I'm going to do. Then, then for the sandbag, or whatever it is that you put on a hot air balloon at the bottom, I'm going to, I'm going to try to decide, because I got all these materials, because I'll be making him some things, I got to decide which one I'm going to use, and it's just going to be a little, you know, little sandbag to put next to the basket. So I will be back in just a minute when we start to put the string up. I'm going to get my, uh, I was going to, I was going to say, I was going to get my hot air gun. Really? My hot glue gun. I'll be back. Okay. As far as the material, I think. I might go with either this one or this one. And again, it's just a small, you know what I mean? It's that little pouch that is on the side of the hot air balloon. Very little. And then these others, I want to make a rag quilt and a couple stuffed animals and a couple other things probably. So for the banner, I already cut one out, and it's from this 
And this is from the paper studio. This is from Hobby Lobby. And it's a nice size. And then what I'm going to do, and they don't know the name yet. So I wished I had a name because <laughs> I love to personalize stuff. But they're not sure. They're kind of in between a couple. So I think... I don't know. I might do the last name, or I just might put Precious Baby. Maybe Precious Baby. Well, anyway, I'll think about that as I go. Um, so I got white because there will be white, gray, a light, light baby blue in this particular hot air balloon. And I think I'm going to put it against, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to put it against the dark gray or the little polka dot. Not sure yet. I might even, if I had a bigger one, I would probably uh, put two different sizes together. So what I might do is I might alternate. So what I'm gonna do now is I will start punching out I always turn my punch around so I can see. Because this one's easy enough to punch. It's, you know how some of them are really hard? This one's real easy. This is my left hand. My left hand's weaker than my right. And no problem. I can very easy punch that. So there's another one. And these letters will fit fine on there, which is cool. I'm going to get it to the very edge so I can use as much paper. Now this is a little harder because this, this paper is cardstock. This one's just regular lighter scrapbook paper. Okay, so let's see. I think alternating. What do you think? I think that would be cute. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Now I have to decide what I'm going to put, or should I call and bug them and say, have you thought of a name yet, please? No, I don't want to put that pressure on them. Um, and they give you th three of each, so that's cool. So when I decide what I'm going to do as far as the name or what I'm going to put, I will be back. In the meantime, I'm going to get my string and get that ready, get my hot glue ready, and then we will be in business. Okay, what I've done, I just wanted to show you. I have now put all the strings that I'm going to have on this, and then I'm going to start hot gluing them to the inside of the basket. So as soon as I'm done with that, then I'm going to start scalloping this string along the balloon and I'll bring you back when I start that okay guys I want to show you where I'm at now I have all of the little banner flags punched out from my punch and I'm going to put them on the gray and white string and it's the same string I use to make the strings coming down from the actual balloon and the scallops I'll show you that too anyway since we don't know the baby's name I'm going to put precious baby boy and that will go up onto the balloon so see where I have the scallops and then I'll show you when I get it done what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just like here and I'm just going to scallop again with the string and then that will be in the front where the elephant is I will come back after I get that adhered to the balloon. Okay guys, what I'm doing is I have the string and I have all of the little banner pieces cut out and I adhered the um, letters that I want to put on there, which is gonna be Precious Little Boy. I'm going to find my I need enough to be able to tie off. 
onto the balloon. So I'm going to take two pieces, and I cut two of both. I'm going to glue just the top and put it underneath here and then sandwich it onto the string. So as I get going, I'll come back. Okay, what I did is I kept this one so I could kind of get a feel of what it would look like on the balloon. And one thing I did too, and I'm using the uh, box that the actual lantern came in as a work surface, and it's really nice because it's heavy cardboard, so I'm going to keep this around for a while. Um, I glued the very ends so the, it would be easier because if not, it's kind of moving around. But if you just glue the very ends, it keeps it a little bit more taut and it's easier to work with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this up on the balloon and I'll bring you back once I start getting that up. Okay guys, here it is so far and there's the string that I put up all the way around and here is the banner tied to each side over here. So I just tied the string and tried to get it as even as I could. And now what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put some bows and then down here you can see I have all of it tied. Well, these actually down here on the corners are hot glued, but I'm going to go over that again to make sure it's secure. Then I'm going to put the tool inside and then I think I'm going to put ribbon around here. I just got to decide which one. But when I get to that point, I'll come back. All right. I kept going back and forth because I think I want to put ribbon just around this rim right here. And I kept going between this and the blue. But Although this has hot air balloons on it, it just, it, to me it wasn't going right. So I'm going to do the blue. I'm also going to make little bows to put up on the balloon and I'll show you that because i got to bring it back down so you can see it. But I'll be putting that in certain areas. So how much do I have here? I have six, i got to get new glasses, six yards. That should do me. So I'm gonna start making some of these bows. I'm gonna go ahead and put this around and glue it and then I'll be back. Okay, everybody. So here is what it looks like. I just put bows on and you can see I put some of the curly ribbon. I thought that looked really cute too. I'm going to just let you look at a couple pictures. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know in the comments below. And if you try one, tell me. Always remember the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.